Hello all. Um, today we are going to talk about my 2016 uh, Ford Figo 1.2 and the five things I love about this car. Firstly, I love how it looks. Um, when it was bought, uh, the competition was very bleak compared to this car, and uh, everything about it just was so appealing. You know, the especially the silver garnishes over the blue, and there was no color like this in the market at that time, and I really liked it. Uh, this is a mid variant. Uh, that means uh, it doesn't get the alloys, uh, but it does get two airbags, which was also a class first. Uh, apart from that, um, I love this car. Uh, there's like nothing I can fault with it really. But uh, yeah, firstly, I love the shape. Um, the second thing about this car that I love is the interior. Um, there's nothing you can fault with it. It's very clear cut. Uh, no bullshit. The one thing that is really great about this interior is that it's got space everywhere. Like oh, I can just put everything anywhere I want. The cubby holes are also great and the third thing that i love about this car is the sound system it it's got bluetooth everything i don't know why they had to still give us this but uh, they have given us uh, the keypad i don't know who remembers uh, numbers anymore but it's still there but the sound system on this car is insane also there's a uh, another storage compartment here with the usb and the uh, aux connectivity there but yeah moving on the next thing i love about this car has to be the engine i mean it's not as uh, peppy as the diesel one but it's quite nice um if you put it in the right rev range it uh, really does talk to you and the last thing that i love about this car has to be the suspension we'll go out for a drive and you'll see what i'm talking about As I said earlier, it handles quite well, quite well, and uh, it's got this one annoying thing called uh, self. It it's a self stalling feature, and it doesn't let you stall, but that kind of backfires every time you drive this car, and. Apart from that, I cannot fault anything with it. I can fault a lot of things, but you have to remember that the price tag this is in, it's an economic car, it's not meant to uh, have everything perfect with it, not meant to be a Ferrari, so yeah. That was the second year you turn Aram Se. Okay, so now we talk about the five things that I hate about this car. I wouldn't say per se hate, but these things annoy me a lot about this car, especially. Firstly, the vents. The way the vents are placed, they are not correct. Like, you cannot adjust them correctly enough. Like, the airflow is mismanaged in this car by a lot. So, the best you can hope for is just put it on top and, like, pull the entire cabin otherwise if you try to direct it to your face the steering gets in the way and it's just so annoying honestly i don't know why ford didn't just place the vents at a better place the second thing about this car that really pisses me off is this a pillar it is literally a blind spot like if you're driving like this and you look this this is such a big blind spot that it's a safety hazard and I don't know what Ford has done uh, to take measures against that but like this pillar needs to go because it's such a safety hazard. The other thing that I hate, hate, hate about this car is when you clean the windshield, it doesn't clean the entire windshield. There's like this space which still remains dirty. So your windshield is therefore now dirtier in comparison than it was clean yeah this part is all clean and nice but this part is going to look horrible once it dries off those are my complaints with the interior of this car everything is else, everything else is uh, quite sorted out in my opinion the plastic is nice uh, 
haven't faced any issues in anything but the last thing that i hate about this car has to be its transmission it is just it's it's so it's not friendly to you, you it doesn't want to talk to you it, it's just there and it's you can feel the rigidness i'm not even kidding an alto has a smoother gearbox than this and before anybody goes off in the comments saying oh your car is messed up no it my car has only been driven 15000 kilometers in the past four years that we've had it so yeah um those are the five things i don't really hate about my car but like things that piss me off and i wish they were better so the power of this car is something else i would like to talk about but that can be easily sorted out with a remap uh, or some upgrades which this car will get soon um planning on getting uh, alloys for it i'm putting some rims on this car uh, and maybe an intake and an exhaust uh, mind you this car is my mom's daily but yeah we can have some fun with it thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe tell me what you love about your car and hate about your car in the comments down below thanks for watching this is hamza